Good day everyone. So today I'm going to teach you how to remove background using XK uh, software. Okay. So first is you have to um, import a picture from your drive. So you click import, go to file and then import and then select the picture that you will be needing to uh, use for the background removal. Now resize it and uh, put it here in the center of your screen okay and then to zoom it in okay just click the equal sign okay and then equal sign there okay so after clicking the equal sign um you have to use the draw bezier tool this is the draw bezier tool it is located on the upper part of the calligraphy tool okay so next is you have to select the edge of your object okay because we want to remove the background so we will be just needing to um, select the object at the center now as you can see my selection is not that perfect no? it's not but we will fix it later Okay, so it's okay even if it is not that perfect. Later, I'll teach you how to fix that. Okay, so you just scroll it down with your uh, with your mouse. Okay, and then there. So that you just click there there so i'm done already with the um, um selection of the cupcake but as you can see it's not yet fixed no and it's not yet perfect so all you have to do is go to the next tool edit paths by notes so you click that one and then fix now your selection Okay, so let's start here. So you just drag and then move uh, the line there. So that's how. Okay, so let us see some of the areas that we'll be needing to fix. Now in this area, since it will be difficult for you to move, okay, you have to double click. Okay, and then so that you can move it like this. Okay, double click to create another node. The same with this one. Okay, so if this will be the problem, just double click and then move the nodes. So these are the nodes, the small boxes that you can see on the selection. Okay. So you just drag and then move. As you can see, there is a small antenna here. You can also use that to um, fix your curve. Okay. So in order for you to fix it, you can also use this small antenna. Okay. There. The same with this one. Okay double click and then so you can move it if there is no node you can create nodes by clicking that uh, by double clicking the line there and then just move there okay so everything is okay now so we can now Click the minus sign. So as you can see, we have selected already the object at the center. Okay. So you may now click the select tool. Okay. So now we've been selecting already the image at the center. Okay. Now, um, 
we can also copy the selection for our background later okay so since uh, we're done already with the selection okay i want to uh, copy the selection by clicking the select tools Control c and then Control v here okay and then i'm going to uh, change its color to green so that we can use that later next okay click again the node tool okay this one okay click and then click again the select tool okay because we are only clicking the object at the center that's why we need to click first the node and the selection tool now as you can see we are not including the background of the cupcake Okay, so now we have to include that so that we can remove the background. So you press shift key from the keyboard and then select the background. Okay, then after that, you can go to object, uh, maybe object, uh, and then clip, and then you have to set it. Okay, so now your uh, object has no background anymore. Okay. So we want this uh, image to put at the back of the of the cupcake, okay? As as the background effect of the object. So how are we going to do that? We only have one layer, okay? So what are we going to do is we're going to uh, cut this, right click and then cut, okay? Let's put the image using the select tool okay here at the center and then let's add layer go to layer menu and then add layer and then above current okay control v or paste it okay and then put it on top so it's just resize resize okay Actually, we can remove the stroke. So I'm going to remove stroke. Okay. So click the background. Okay. Go to fill stroke. Okay. And then go to um, stroke pane and then remove it. Okay. So that's how. And then let's put some effects on the field. So let's try other. Um, settings mm. okay so in my case i want to use this one this radial gradient okay and then i'll close it now then go to select tool and then put it here at the center okay so that will be an effect only for your object Okay, so if you are done with your um, removing the background and putting the effect at the back, you may now type in the name of your cupcake so you can create your own name if you want to. Okay, so in my case, I'm going to use the Resenian cupcake. Okay. And then I will be changing its uh, font. So you may highlight, go to the font or create text object. And then the font is here on top. So we can remove and change it if we want. So we have different fonts here installed. Okay. And then resize it. For example, you have chosen already your font. Okay, just resize. Mm -hmm. And if you want to put some effects, okay, you can copy Control C, and then Control V, and then double click. You may change the color if you want to. So in my case, I will be using purple. 
for the electricity force. Okay, and then just arrange it for an effect. So if you want to add more effect on your graphics, you can also do that. Now to group them together, just click or just uh, select them both like this. Okay, and then you can go to object and then look for group or press control G. So automatically they are grouped already. Okay. So you can upload it on your okay. So, so it's up to you where wherever you want to put it. Okay. So that is your activity number three. Okay. Just save it using your surname underscore activity three. Mm -hmm.